Hey guys, this is a uh, creature freak uh, from the uh, Copper Cube forums, and I just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of what I've been working on. Um, it's very crude and rough right now, um, and basically, I've always been uh, fascinated with trying to get a little bit more pathfinding or a little bit of object avoidance in Copper Cube when you have an enemy chasing uh, the player or another character, or enemy, etc. Okay. Um, so my setup is very simple here. Um, what I've created is a a little path, right, where our uh, player or other character will move through, and our enemy, our guy here, will be chasing um, this object around, and hopefully without hitting um, any of these objects that are around. Okay, um, and. The way I'm trying to do this is I've set up um, a bunch of waypoints, okay? Um, and what these are are basically objects um, and um, areas, positions, where the character can move to without hitting any of these other objects um, and the walls here, okay? So when he's not chasing um, the player, Hopefully he will be moving through some of these um, positions and avoiding the walls. Okay, and I'll show you a little bit of how I how I do that. But for now, let's uh, play um, the scene and see what happens. Okay, so right now he's basically moving through the different positions without hitting the walls. Okay, he's not chasing the character yet because he's not in the line of sight. Okay, now he sees the character and he's chasing him. Okay. Okay, so you can see there he, he went the other direction because he was about to hit a wall. Okay, now he's back to chasing the player. As you can see, he's scrolling through the waypoints. He sees the player, chases the player around a little bit. Okay, is was about to hit a wall, and now goes back to the uh, waypoint areas. Okay, he's chasing the player again. Okay, so let me show you how uh, a little bit of what I'm doing here, and I'll put on. Um, some of these objects so you can see what's happening here now okay so we have the player actually firing um, at the uh, enemy right and what's happening is I've got that little yellow dot which is actually um, hitting that uh, bluish um, globe and is making um, the enemy chase the character okay and that's that's set up with a variable right so every time that little yellow dot hits the character he starts chasing I'm sorry the enemy he starts chasing our uh, player okay now the cool thing is also is that every time that little yellow dot hits a wall the player goes back to walking around the uh, environment and walking around the, uh, the, you know, scrolling through the waypoints. Okay, so you can see he's gone back to walking on those red little waypoints I've put there. Okay, so that's one way to avoid um, the wall. He kind of went in there a little bit, um, but for the most part, uh, it works. Okay, so let's turn this off. So now you can see what's happening here again. Okay, he hit the wall, now he's going back to his path. Again, he's walking his path, and once the um, he sees, or the enemy sees him, then they start to uh, the uh, enemy starts to chase the uh, the character. Okay, so this is not a perfect example of um, I guess um, 
obstacle avoidance. I've tried other ways, but it's something that could hopefully be useful and hopefully um, you know someone can find this useful. I'll definitely post um, this uh, scene file on Google for you guys to download and mess with. Um, so you know it's basically I created a quick little dirty script uh, for this to happen and what I have is a bunch of objects right all these objects that are in uh, a group folder okay which is B2 all right and each of these objects um, has an index number right so every time our character runs through the um, objects um, he adds a number to a variable that makes him move on to the next object in sequence right so he's gonna go through one two three four five six seven eight nine ten etc okay um, so basically that's done with a quick little script that I uh, created and again I, I am I'm definitely not a uh, a very good JavaScript programmer okay so if you look here I don't know if you guys can see this but there's a four variable right that actually counts the objects in this group up here okay um, and it scrolls through them okay and each of those objects has an index number right so um, all we have to do is basically tell our enemy to move towards this object uh, and that object will obviously change its index numbers okay so um, it's you know he'll it'll it'll scroll through all these numbers the cool thing about the way I, well at least the way I've set it up here is that um, it remembers when he starts chasing the enemy it actually remembers I'm sorry the player he actually remembers where he last was on the on the map right because he's hit an index number he's hit one of these little red cubes and he'll go back to it and that's why he will avoid the walls okay and basically if I scroll down here I just have a couple of um, sort of commands here um, the CC um, AI commands which make the object uh, move either towards the um, the player or moves towards the waypoints and and walks the path okay it's a little messy obviously here and I'm gonna again I'm gonna put this scene up for you guys to play with but uh, you know it'd be, it'd be great to have somebody um, take a look at this maybe improve on it or even make a cool behavior or action based off of this because uh, again my goal is to at some point really make some some interesting path finding solutions um, you know any way I can and, and have somebody uh, do their best to uh, pick that up okay all right guys that's it for now thanks